All right, it's time to tackle the complicated subject of the temperaments. Now there are four temperaments and the temperament is just like a basis of how these people view the world in a way. Uh, this is typically how they're going to see things from their ego standpoint. Granted, this is from a perspective of four different types. Today we're going to talk about the SJs, which are the guardians. Um, now granted, an ESTJ, ESFJ, ISTJ, and ISFJ all view this temperament from a different perspective because each cognitive function is going to be different. You can have a positive TE, a positive TI, po a negative TE, negative TI viewpoint of the way to things. Some are extroverted feelers, some are introverted feelers. But for the most part, all four are very high SI users. This is what makes them the guardians because SI is duty, SI is loyalty, SI is faith, SI is past focus, SI is long-term memory. All right, and so every SJ is going to be what we call a guardian. They are the keepers of the chronicles and they are the ones that establish what civilization is. Without them, there would be no foundation, no civilization, and it would be a very chaotic mess because these people are all about order. They want to have an established culture. They want to have established festivals, celebrations, holidays, and a religion, some kind of basis that unifies the whole entire community together because they are affiliative. What does affiliative mean? They think about the right and wrong for the community. Okay? They are systematic. What does systematic mean? Systematic means they think in systems and probabilities and charts and different statistics and keeping things in a structured, orderly manner. All right, let's go over a couple things about them. So what does affiliative mean? Affiliative can come off as authoritarian. They're going to be pushing their authority on other people. These are the people that believe in the rule of law. They agree that police should be on the street giving people tickets to keep people in order. So they'll follow the speed limit because that's for the best of the community and maintaining that standard. Okay, they focus on other people. They want agreement with the people. Sometimes they can come across as doormats because they're doing the right thing at all times and SJs are all about what they should do. They need to be told what they should do. Okay? They like a cooperation. They like to speak in agreement. They like to check in with social norms and values. Check in with the community, family, collective. In this case, what grandpa thought matters to them and their, their family heritage is incredibly important and you should honor that their dad taught them to drive a certain way and that's important to them. It might not be important to you, but it's important to them. So remember that if you're ever with an SJ friend or SJ lover or some sort, okay? Never tell them your mom doesn't matter. Dad doesn't matter. Your family doesn't matter. <laughs> your religion doesn't matter. That's not going to go over very well with them. Okay, uh, they have defined roles. These are people trying to keep the nuclear family together. They're the ones that think one man, one woman. So if you see a very dogmatic ex Jehovah's Witness that's thinking, hey, two men can't raise a family, more than likely they're going to be SJs. Okay, they're going to be dogmatic about that. Um, uh, if you see some of the on Facebook, I'm pretty sure you guys will know who they are. Uh, the, <laughs> they're they're both ESFJs and they're pretty dogmatic in their uh, their their viewpoints on some things. Um, uh, they want cohesive harmony, so they want to have this glue that keeps together people together. So they want a Christian America, or in the Middle East, they want an Islamic, you know, country. They want an atheist country that's all about secularism, whatever, whatever cohesive it is, it's popular or it's pushed in that collective, okay? SJs can be um, atheists, okay? They can really push that down people's throats too. Um, they're about sharing. Sometimes they can be almost communist, but more than likely the stereotype SJ is more authoritative right where they want their said religion or culture to tell you what to do, okay? It is 
their faith and their duty that's going to tell the woman whether or not she can get an abortion, okay? Typically speaking, that's the route SJs go. Not always. SJs can also go to the left, okay? Then they want, like, uh, an established education to tell everyone what to do, and this is what science says, and this is what you have to do, okay? So let's collectivize and get behind uh, what these scientists say about, I don't know, climate change, for instance, okay? Um, they're about the group roles, group consistence. They ask for permission, okay, not for forgiveness. They usually do the right thing, all right? Uh, so this is how they are in a feelative manner. How are they systematic? Systematic, they focus on systems. You always see like the mother SJ that she always has a system, how she cleans her house, how she takes her kids to school. Everything is processed and organized, okay? This is why these SJs, even though they're of the, temp uh, the interaction style of the starter, they can say, hey, I always finish my tasks. This is out of duty, not necessarily out of what your natural ability is, okay? Um, they're about frameworks, methodical, processes, labels, models. What is the order? How are things organized? Sequences. They like doing puzzles, way of doing things, develop methodologies, implement aspects of life, social professional norms. They're about rules, expectations, regulation, order of things, details, structure, procedure, strategy, and a paradigm. Okay, so they're all about rule of law. SJs always take the hero roles in life. They typically want to work in the government. They want to work uh, as in the military. They want to be nurses, doctors, lawyers, firefighters, policemen. These are the community people. Okay, without them, the world would be very chaotic, in my opinion. So I'm very grateful that they are 40% of the planet. All right, so they are the majority. These are your normal people. They're down to earth. Why are they down to earth? Because they have, they are concrete. They're not abstract like me, okay? I'm in outer space. SJs are down to earth. They're going to focus on being well grounded. So what does concrete mean? They want to talk about what's tangible, observation, reality, actual, what is real, what has happened, memories, what is happening, what is provable in front, what is useful kinetic energy, possibilities, all right, which is interesting though because SJs typically are going to be the most religious types and so most of what they believe in in the religious sense, whether it's Islam, Judeo, Christian, uh, even Middle Eastern religions, that's all based on faith and not really on reality and most of the stuff they believe in they can't prove. But because the collective all accepts that Jesus walked the earth and died for your sins, that is a fact in their eyes because everyone thinks that. Okay, everyone feels that and it's normal. Okay, just like people in the Middle East think that Muhammad did this and that and you know flew into the sky from the rock. Okay, uh, SJs in uh, you know Israel think that Moses walked the earth, you know, or literally went to Mount Sinai and held up the you know the Ten Commandments and led people out of uh, Exodus. Most scientists have proved this never happened. That does not matter. Okay. And so with SJs, you know, they're the ones that are going to keep Christmas going, the traditions, keep it the 4th of July, and establish this kind of stuff. Um, in the Jehovah's Witness faith, SJs are definitely dominant. And from my estimates, from my personal experience, I've been in eight different congregations, and they are probably 80% of Jehovah's Witnesses. And even in the XJ community, the ones who are leaving in apostates are SJs, and they are also gone. Lloyd Evans is an SJ. Okay, he's an ESTJ. He, he collects all of his books because he's all about his heritage. He wants to keep his spiritual heritage even though he doesn't believe in it. But it's still important to him because it's past focus family heirlooms. Okay, SJs are all about the past and their family past is important. Okay, family tradition is important. Okay, Barbara Anderson is an SJ. Okay, John Hedder is probably an SJ too. All right, so this is what I'm going to talk about for this temperament. I hope that uh, uh, gets everyone uh, across. Actually, I just something came to mind. I wanted to talk about traps that SJs can fall in. They are the most balanced type, and they can fall in the trap of doing what they should do. Then we have the, the Nazi soldiers who said, I was just following orders. This is a very famous ISFJ quote. ISFJs are usually cops. 
okay? And so what kind of traps can they fall into? They can fall into group think and group dynamics of just going along with everything because this is what's best for the community, whether or not they think it's true or not, okay? They'll go against this. Uh, so this is the way SJs think, and this is their temperament.